Billy Joe Margaret Jenkins was brought into the world on the 29th of Walk, 1983, to Guardians Bear Jenkins and Deborah Barnett. Billy Joe had a fairly troublesome childhood. Her dad was in jail, and her mom truly battled to take care of Billy Joe, all alone because of this her. Mom had no other choice except for to place her girl into the child care framework. In 1992, Billy Joel was immediately cultivated into a well-off middle-class family who lived in Hastings, Britain, the family comprised of the dad, Sean, and his significant other, Louis, and their four girls, Annie, who was 12, Charlotte, or Lutie, who was 10, Esther, who was 8, and Maya, who was 7. The family, incidentally, had a similar last name as Billy Joel Jenkins, so this encouraged her at home. Billy was portrayed as a carefree young lady, who cherished the family canine Holly. She had yearnings to one day become an entertainer on the 15th of February, 1997. Louise Jenkins took two of her girls, Esther and Maya, out for the afternoon. They had gone to the ocean side and furthermore went out to shop with Lees, likewise getting several things done. This left Sean at home with his other girl, Annie, who was tidying up the utility room and his cultivate little girl, 13-year-old Billy Joe, who was painting the entryways on the deck in the back nursery. Their other girl, LTE, was at a clarinet illustration at around 300 p. M. Sean and his little girl, Annie, went to go get LT from her clarinet example, which left Billy Joe in the back nursery all alone. At the point when Sean, LTE, and Annie had gotten back to the house Sean shared with his girls, that he needed to go to the do-it-yourself store to get a white sole to tidy up a portion of the paint sprinkles that Billy Joe had made in the nursery. At the point when Sean, Annie, and Elty showed up at the do-it-yourself, store Sean found that he had neglected to carry any cash with him, so he needed to get back to get some money. Sean went inside for around three or so minutes, and afterward he returned out to the vehicle it was accounted for by various observers that Sean was seen driving no less than two times around the local, which endured from around 15 to 20 minutes, which is fairly uncommon, and to some very dubious. In the wake of showing up back home, subsequent to getting the white soul from the store youthful LT circumvented the back to determine the status of her sister. However, after showing up external, she found her cultivate sister lying in her very own pool blood. Elty shouted for her dad, who immediately put his two girls into the den prior to calling crisis administrations. Sean later affirmed that he headed toward Billy Joe and contacted her shoulder, and she had a blood bubble emerging from her nose. As per the 9.9, nine call Sean expressed that Billy Joe was all the while breathing when he headed toward her side. However, she likewise had serious facial and head wounds. The dispatcher advised Sean to place Billy Joe into the recuperation position, however. When the emergency vehicle showed up, Billy Jem was situated on her back, and when they inquired as to whether she was all the while breathing, he said that he didn't have the foggiest idea, and he hadn't checked. Which goes against with what he told the dispatcher sadly. When the paramedics had shown up on the scene, Billy Joe Jenkins was dead. Police promptly began examining and sent Billy Joel's body to a scientific pathologist. To play out the posthumous, the consequences of the post-mortem are as per the following. The reason for death was a hit to the head and the way of death was manslaughter. Billy Joe Suft offered nine hits to the head all in an irregular example, yet in nearness of each other. Her skull was broken, her nose was broken, and ribs a nine and ten were likewise broken. Guarded injuries were noted on both of her lower arms, including swelling yet a portion of the swelling found were more established, maybe around seven days old inner assessment. Showed Billy Jewel hadn't been physically attacked. Blood was likewise found in her lungs and in her mouth, however the pathologist accepted that this was reasonable because of her wrecked nose. The weapon not set in stone to be a 18 in iron tent stake, which was lying in closeness to Billy Joe's body, as per different sources, rather amazingly, this tent stake was never tried for DNA peculiarly Billy Joe had bits of plastic dark sacks stuffed up her nose like packs utilized for waste disposal. 
This was a difficult purportedly found by a neighbor to help Billy Joel after LTE found her in the nursery. At first police captured an anonymous nearby man, referred to just as Mr. B. Anyway, he was subsequently delivered under the Psychological Wellness Act he was seen acting dubiously nearby, and even had pieces of plastic pack in his control at the time yet as per various observers he was found in a recreational area, at the time Billy Joe was gone after, so there immediately precluded him. Something different which means a lot to note here is that Billy Joe had trusted in her companions only weeks earlier about a peculiar man who continued to follow her. However, this road was rarely completely investigated. The subsequent suspect was the M25 attacker, Anthony Imola. He was a German sentenced attacker who went after ladies and young ladies, one as youthful as ten, on the M25 course in and around London at around a similar time. He was at last viewed as at legitimate fault for physically attacking nine ladies and endeavored assault of a ten-year-old young lady. The explanation that this man was connected to this case was on the grounds that he generally wore a cowhide coat, and Billy Joe had depicted the one who continued to follow her as somebody who generally wore a calfskin coat. What governed Anthony out of this case was his MMO this being that he in every case physically attacked his casualties, something which had not happened in this specific case on the 24th of February Billy Joe's non-permanent dad, Shan Jenkins, was captured on doubt of her homicide and was thusly charged. On the 14th of spring, his better half Louis Jenkins guaranteed that he had a background marked by homegrown maltreatment, was an exceptionally brutal man, and that he had an incredibly short wire. She likewise asserted that Sean had even harmed their girls, including Billy Joe, something which was likewise verified by a portion of the teenager's school companions, who guaranteed to have seen the 13-year-old with different swelling across her body on various events, which were supposedly because of whipping from her non-permanent dad this data, and the way that Sean had obviously participated in a sexual relationship with somebody who looked basically the same as his cultivate girl and the way that he was purportedly acting unusually around the hour of that. Wrongdoing affirmed to police that Sean had something to stow away. Persuading them to think that he was some way or another, engaged with Billy Joe's demise, Sean was a delegate head at a nearby school nearby, and he was a very much regarded individual from the school local area. However, while examining police really found that Sean had lied on his CV to land the position in any case, which affirmed to police that he was unable to be relied upon during measurable testing police, found 158 minuscule blood spots on Ocean's coat pants and shoes, they accepted that this could would have possibly showed up on his attire. Assuming he had killed Billy Joe, the police accepted that Sean had carried out the wrongdoing inside the three minutes that he had gone into the house to gather the cash prior to leaving for the do-it-yourself store. No thought process was at any point laid out concerning why Sean would have hurt his cultivate little girl the protection at the preliminary guaranteed that Sean might have the blood spots from a blood bubble that burst either in Billy Joe's mouth or in her nose, and Sean asserted that this had really been the situation in his underlying explanation. That's what some trusted assuming Sean had beaten Billy Joe himself. There would have been definitely more blood spots on his dress than what was found, and they could not have possibly been minuscule, yet a lot bigger, some doubted. Whether he had put on something else in the three minutes he went? Into the house, however, his girls who were in the vehicle Annie and Lulty never detailed seeing a difference in attire. During Sean's preliminary, the jury were never educated regarding his supposed brutal past. Anyway, this didn't influence the choice. The jury found Shay Jenkins at fault for the homicide of Billy Joe Jenkins. His better half Lois completely accepted that her significant other was liable for her cultivate girl's homicide after the preliminary by jury. On the 2nd of July, 1998, Sean was condemned to life detainment in 1999. Sean Jenkins pursued for a retrial, however this was quickly dismissed in 2003. Anyway, 
Following two years of examination by the Crook Cases Audit Commission, the case was alluded back to the Court of Allure. The reason for this reference was the way that there was evidence suggesting that Sean had not carried out the wrongdoing. The subsequent Allure was sent off in August of 2004 and was effective. The Court of Requests said that the principal conviction was perilous and requested a retrial, which wound up in Sean being delivered on bail. The subsequent preliminary went back and forth, with an uncertain outcome, albeit this time youthful LTE took to the stand. One snippet of data that she gave, which was very critical, was that she accepted that the side entryway into the nursery could have been open, however she was unable to make certain, as the wrongdoing had happened when she was much more youthful. The protection's primary contention at the third preliminary was the blood spots on the apparel scientific researchers affirmed that the blood spots on Ocean's clothing might have, without a doubt, come from Billy Joe's aviation routes. Following 39 hours of thought, the jury couldn't choose a greater part decision as a result of this on the 9th of February, 2006, at the Old Bailey in London. Sean was pronounced an outcome, not liable, and was cleared of any contribution in the homicide of his cultivate girl. The Wrongdoing Arraignment Administration likewise said that they wouldn't do any further retrials, and as a result of this Sean was officially vindicated altogether the police examination, the retrials, and the allures cost the citizen over one million pounds. More than 700 observer proclamations were taken, and the attendants went through numerous hours pondering in every one of the three preliminaries. Sean burned through eleven days in the observer box to give proof. Around 2010, Shay Jenkins really applied for monetary remuneration for misleading detainment, yet this was not conceded, and it never went any further Sean and Lewis Jenkins isolated after Sean was sentenced for Billy Joe's homicide. Lois moved to the opposite side of the world to Tasmania with her four leftover little girls close by, is accounted for that from that point forward, none of the kids have at any point had contact with their dad notwithstanding to all that happened. Sean keeps up with his innocence right up till now. Billy Joe Jenkins' burial service was hung on the 23 RD of April 1997 and was gone to by more than 300 grievers. The function occurred in London, and her organic mother went to with her sweetheart, yet after seeing Billy Joe's non-permanent mother, Louis Jenkins, her natural mother ran out of the house of prayer and stayed away forever. She didn't go to the help, nor the entombment. The most recent update for the situation came in 2022, when specialists uncovered that they would complete a criminological survey of the proof in Billy Joel's case. This incorporates blood tests to get any one sections and DNA tests, fully intent on coordinating it with any possible suspects. DNA innovation proceeds to advance and police trust that soon these new innovations will at long last assist with opening new roads of request, and in doing so, expect to address this case. A daily existence so unfortunately cut off a young lady with such a splendid future in front of her, taken in a moment. We might dare to dream that sometime or another Billy Joe's executioner is found and dealt with, so the people who adored her and valued her can at last have some clo conclusion. Absolutely. If you enjoyed the introduction to Unfit Frame, feel free to hit the like button to show your support. Additionally, don't hesitate to leave a comment sharing your thoughts, suggestions, or any specific topics you'd love to see covered on the channel. Your engagement is valued and helps shape the content to better suit the interests of the Unfit Frame community. Thanks for being a part of the journey.